The handling of SMD parts is much simpler than the one of through-hole components, and it is much faster. Together with the cheap PCB services offered, every maker can produce professional devices at very low cost. One thing, however, remains a problem for some people – soldering these small components. Today I show you how we do this with a cheap Aldi oven. Greetings, YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. SMD parts are soldered by heat. You have three possibilities to add this heat to the solder. With a soldering iron, with a hot air gun, with an oven. I use a soldering iron only rarely with SMD, usually to correct if something did not go right, like two pins bridged or exchange of a wrong component. The gun is very comfortable to remove parts because you can easily apply heat to both ends, which is difficult with the soldering iron. I do not use the gun for soldering. My favorite way to create new PCBs is my Aldi oven. How is it done? First, we apply soldering paste to the PCB. We use a syringe and a needle for that. Professional PCBs have a stop mask, so this process is not too critical. Even if you apply a little bit too much, it will not create problems. Here we use 1206 parts because they are easy to handle and we usually do not create super small PCBs. 805 parts are equally easy for the younger of us. For resistors and capacitors I bought assortments. And I buy SMD versions of ICs if possible. For breadboard usage we solder them on such small PCBs. If we apply too much paste we can remove it using household paper. Next, we place all parts where they belong. We use tweezers for that. This Heiko type is much better than the normal ones sold on AliExpress. Thank you, Louis Rossman. Next, we have to apply heat to the PCB, the solder paste and the parts. This has to be done according to a curve which is defined by the suppliers. You find many of them and most have four phases. First phase, preheat, from ambient temperature to about 170 degrees centigrade. Not too fast, then it's okay. The second phase, the soak stage, where you stay at a particular temperature. The temperature here is not too critical. The third phase, reflow, where you increase the temperature above the melting point of the solder paste for a short period. As short as possible, and with the temperature not too high. And the last phase is the cooling, where you reduce the heat quite fast. There are many videos and instructions around how to build an entirely automatic temperature control for reflow ovens. Maybe they are useful if you create big PCBs or produce tons of them. For me, this is not necessary because my oven heats with about the right speed and I cannot speed it up, even not with a controller. The whole process only takes a few minutes, where we easily can stay in front of the oven and switch it manually. I like also to check if everything is ok. And for the cooling phase, we anyway have to open the door, because standard ovens keep the temperature much too long. Also here, no controller can help. The only thing is to add a temperature sensor for $4 to the top of the oven. I drilled a small hole and placed the sensor close to my board using captain tape. That's all. At ambient temperature, we charge the oven with the PCB. As an example, we use a PCB built for our radar project. After closing the door, we start with full throttle and check the temperature. During the soak phase, we switch it off for a few seconds and then full throttle again. Then I check visually if the solder changes its state. Slightly above 220 degrees Celsius, the color of the solder changes from gray to silver. This happens quite fast. Wait a few seconds, open the door and switch the oven off. Done. After a few minutes you can unload your completed PCB, add through-hole components if needed and test it. Of course, this is only for prototyping. But this is what we do on this channel. 
and I think you could even use your oven in your kitchen if your wife permits. Just add a temperature sensor and place it very close to your PCB. Summarized, SMD is much easier than through hole. Professionally manufactured PCBs are dirt cheap these days. We can use a small oven to solder SMD components. Look for an oven which has a fan to distribute the heat evenly. The timing of the heating curve is not critical and can be done manually. Just use a cheap temperature sensor to be sure. Check manually if the solder paste changed state and open the door afterwards. I want to thank all my supporters on Patreon for supporting the channel. Without you, it would be difficult for me to do what I do now. Bye.